I'm going to talk through these exam points options for people that don't like to read. So starting at the top, left corner, vocabulary stacks. Basically for vocabulary stacks, you need to pick out seven Algebra 1 vocabulary words and complete a Google slide. Splits into four pieces. You'll put the word or the phrase, the vocabulary term in the center. And then in one section, you're describing what it is, kind of a definition, but your own words. In another box, you will represent that thing with a picture. In another box, you're going to come up with an example problem or find an example problem to illustrate where the word might be used. And the last box is to make a connection between that word and something non-academic, something outside of school, outside of math class. That happens seven times. That's why it's called a vocabulary stack, whole stack. Lyricism is exactly as it sounds. You will write a verse that is a song, poem, or rap that incorporates at least eight Algebra 1 vocabulary words. If you're going to do that option, you are not allowed to make the song or the rap or the poem about math. It has to be about something else that just brings math words into it. Option two, you can make the song, the poem, or the rap about a specific ninth grade math concept, and then you're not restricted to be using a certain number of words. You just want to present that concept in verse. Intercepts Golf is a game from the same website that Math Cannons was from. Just click on the link, play the game, play through all 20 holes, and screenshot how many stars you got for the levels. You should be able to take two, two shots. Graffiti art or graph art. Uh, if you remember back in the beginning of the year, there was a couple graphs where I asked you to connect certain points using certain functions and create a design. The example slide was a sailboat on the graph. Your job if you're doing graph art is you do what I did. You create some art in the graph and give directions for what functions to use, uh, what points to connect. History. There's a web link inside of history. It goes to Mathagon, the same website that we used for Tangrams. It's got a whole host of mathematician names on it. You choose one of them. You can read the information that's given to you there and then need to find at least one other source of information and you're going to write up a short biographical sketch on that mathematician, a little bit about their life and their contributions to mathematics. When you're finished writing a few paragraphs on the mathematician, you need to list your sources. Where did you get your information from? Bureau of Labor Statistics. There's a website. It lists out jobs that are in the United States, the incomes, the outlook, tons of information about jobs. And I ask you to do some specific stuff. Uh, I ask you to select occupations by entry-level education. I want you to pick one job that only requires a high school diploma, one that requires an associate's degree. That's two years of college, one that requires a bachelor's degree. It's four years of college. And you're going to look up some specific information about them, uh, each of the jobs. Creative expression. Creative expression just means you have another idea of how you can show your mathematical prowess. And you share that idea with me, and I will give you a yes or no. Can you do that instead of one of these? Investment update. You know how it works. And I'm just saying pick a day in April, or April's almost over, May. <coughs> Announcement canceled. Pick a day in April or May to do an investment update. Add one more row. Look up the numbers, the values of the companies, and one more row of the spreadsheet that we have been working with all year and then there's there's a few few paragraphs to write
a spring math walk. You know how a math walk works. Uh, you take a walk, take some pictures, write some math problems. Escape room number two, when it's, a, when it's available, we did one of those. You'll see if you can escape from a room by doing some logical thinking and mathematical thinking. Teach means you be made for a little bit. Pick one of the math ideas that you understand very well from this year and teach a short lesson. All right, put together a couple slides, a video of yourself teaching how to do that thing, and some practice problems that students could do with that topic. Announcement analysis, look through Mr. Lon's announcements and how long he takes to give them, and you're going to make a data display, similar to some of the stuff we've been doing recently to show, so you can make a box plot, you can make a histogram, or another kind of data display if you know how to and want to use that type instead to show the lengths, the spread of, of lengths of time that it takes for Mr. Long to give his announcements. And those are the options.